Welcome, everyone. My name is Leslie Keith. I'm the Vice President of Corporate Development for Southwestern Vermont Healthcare. Thank you to the members of the press for joining us today, and a big heartfelt thank you to this tremendous community for all your support. It is my privilege and honor to welcome uh, Tom D, our President and CEO. And Tom, please start your remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. And thank you all for um, being here today. As most people are aware, Southwestern Vermont Healthcare, which is we call SVHC, is a parent corporation of the hospital, and it, it acquired the former Southern Vermont College back in December. Um, this was not an easy process. It was a heavy lift for us, but it was the right thing to do. And the SVHC board had the foresight to make the decision to purchase, to pursue the acquisition of this very important community asset. We're now looking forward to go into the next phase and to collaborate with the town of Bennington and many others to develop a long range plan for this critically important property. But let me first thank two community leaders who have stepped up to support the health system in an effort to help us defray some of the costs of this initiative. David Newell and Mike McKenna, two individuals who are well known to both SVHC and our community. Both have been incredible in their efforts to reach out to the Bennington community. You'll hear from them in a moment. Um, and we have other partners in this, in, in this effort. You know, no, no surprise, any successful effort has many, many players. And certainly Catamount TV, through the work of Mike Cutler, the Southern Vermont Chamber of Commerce, led by Matt Harrington, and of course, the Bennington Banner and their team have all played a key role in our efforts here. So let me ask Leslie to introduce um, David Newell so he, David can make some remarks. Thank you, Tom. David Newell joined the Richardson Group, or the Richards Group, excuse me, through the purchase of Will's Insurance in Bennington in 2016 as a commercial lines risk management consultant. David was a founding member of the SVHC Foundation Board and served as chair from 2011 to 2015. He continued on the board until 2017 and was unanimously voted to serve as Director Emeritus. He is currently a trustee with the Bennington Free Library, a member of the Bennington Rotary and president of the Prospect Mountain Association. David also served as the president of the board for Southern Vermont College prior to its closing. David, thank you so much for your tremendous leadership and service. Um, we will be forever grateful. Thank you, Leslie, for those kind comments. <laughs> As you mentioned, I was uh, on the board at the time that the SVC trustees voted to close the college and was elected chair right after we graduated. This is a very difficult decision for us and for the community. Uh, we had 75 full-time jobs that were lost. We had to transfer our nursing and rad tech programs to other institutions. And certainly there was a risk that the campus would no longer be available to the community as it had been previously, the mansion, our athletic facilities, the fields and the gym and the beautiful recreational trails behind the mansion. Two and a half years passed from when we closed to when, as Tom mentioned, the hospital boldly stretched to purchase the campus. Very difficult time. We really didn't have any other offers that were legitimate or would have been anywhere close to as beneficial for the community as S, uh, SVHC owning this property. I mentioned to Tom and Leslie that I'd be glad to help with a campaign the moment the hospital purchased the property, realizing what a stretch it was for them to buy it. Due to the great efforts of Mike McKenna and also the extremely talented development staff of the hospital, we decided to do a month long campaign, a grassroots effort, mainly focusing on Bennington folks to try to raise 500,000. Uh, I'm pleased to say that in this 30 day time, we've exceeded the goal and Mike McKenna can give you some details on that. Again, we were focused on this area only, even though we certainly welcome donations from the outside. But we were extremely encouraged and uh, humble, really, by the outstanding community support we got and very good feelings and goodwill and positive feedback from trying to do this. Uh, donations were at a high level. Mike will tell you about that. We had great letters to the editor, a lot of excellent comments and community feedback. And it's important now for it to support the hospital in transitioning the campus to a multi-use community facility, which is not an inexpensive process. We've hired some great staff to do that, and we're delighted that we were able to exceed this goal and help them along in this process. 
David, thank you so much. Um, let me introduce Michael McKenna to you now. Mike is a financial advisor at DB McKenna and Company in Bennington, a position he has held since, since 1994. He has been serving on the SVHC Foundation uh, board since 2013, and he is currently the chair of our annual fund. Michael also serves his community as a director for the Bennington Chamber of Commerce, as an active member of the Catamount Rotary Club, and just an all around great guy. Michael's enthusiastic leadership and steadfast support for this effort is just tremendously appreciated. And uh, thank you so much, Michael, for everything you've done. Thank you, Leslie, for those kind words. That, that's very nice. And uh, I'd like to echo uh, Dave's comments. The, uh, the groundswell of support from the community has just been absolutely tremendous. And it's, it was an exciting uh, 28 days uh, for this campaign in the month of February. And I just wanted to go over some of the numbers uh, that will just be really amazing. As of this morning, uh, March 4th, the total gifts and pledges to date in the campaign is over $566,000. So we exceeded our $500,000 goal, and we're really happy about that. Thank you very much. The total number of donors uh, is over 450 donors. Uh, nearly 80% of the donors are right from the Bennington community. So that's been absolutely tremendous. Our average gift uh, was a little over 1200 bucks, $1,200, excuse me. And we had uh, donations from all over the country and as far away as Hawaii. Uh, one of the most amazing gifts was towards the end, we had uh, a very special anonymous gift of over $200,000 that put us over the top. So again, thank you very much for everyone's support. It, it's really tremendous and there's a real momentum building. Thank you. Thank you again, Michael. Uh, I'd like to welcome Tom D. back for some closing remarks, please. Well, during the past year, you've heard a theme from Southwestern Vermont Healthcare. The theme that we've talked about is stronger together. It's something that we've learned very well over the past year during a time of the pandemic and great crisis. Um, I don't want to miss the opportunity to again thank all of our healthcare workers and other essential employees in our region for their heroic efforts during this past year. Um, the Grateful Bennington Fund is a tremendous testimony of the level of support that our community has for not only our health system, but it also highlights the importance of the former SVC property and how people feel about it. Through your generosity, we'll be able to make needed investments to the site and to maintain it as a critical community resource. So I want to thank um, so many for stepping forward. And once again, we are clearly stronger together. So again, thank you. And let me go back to Leslie. Thank you to the members of the press for attending. And uh, a, a very special uh, thank you again to David Newell and Mike, Michael McKenna for your leadership, your enthusiasm, and your tremendous support um, for, for this effort. Um, but most importantly, thank you to the community members. Um, I have been in this type of business for a long time, and I've never experience such tremendous support in such a short time. So uh, we're deeply grateful. And uh, Tom, thank you for your leadership and to the board of trustees for their vision uh, to allow this organization to purchase that property for the community. So thank you all. Thank you. <clears throat>